a common misconception in React is that state lives within a component. But I think it's a little bit better to think about it as state is assigned to a component at a certain position. And React will preserve a component state so long as it's being rendered in its same position in the UI. So we're going to just go through some examples of this as I, I think just hearing that it might not click. And just so you know, a lot of this information comes from this page in the React docs. I will link this in the description so you can read through this as well. But what I mean by this is let's go look at the code for this grudgeless component. The TLDR here is that you can add new grudges, but you of course can't remove them because they are indeed grudges. So if we look at this component here, what you're going to see is that if it has this is fancy prop, it basically adjusts the styles of this component and updates the styles, whether it is fancy styles or not. And then in our page, we basically have some state that says is fancy, set is fancy. We can check an input and then that's going to render this grudge list, whether it is fancy or not is fancy. So the kind of key thing that we're talking about here is when, when does React decide to preserve state? So when we check whether it is fancy or not fancy and we change the value of this prop, do you think it's going to change the state of this component regarding like the grudges that we render out in this list? Do you think it's going to clear this list of grudges? If we just change the value of this prop, well, if we come look, you can see changing the value of this prop, it's not changing the state of our grudges. Now, what if we do something like this? What if we open up curly braces to enter JavaScript land and we do a ternary operator? So if we check is fancy question mark, then we're going to render a grudge list in which is fancy is just going to be a boolean of true. Else, we will render a grudge list where is fancy is going to be false. So do you think in this case, does changing whether is fancy being true or false, does that change the state of the grudge list here? Like if we render this grudge list, is it going to have the same state as rendering this grudge list? Or if we toggle is fancy, is it going to wipe out the grudges of this grudge list if we then render this grudge list? Let's take a look. So as you can see, I'm going to just refresh right now and clear the state for good measure. So let's clear the state. Let's add a grudge one, and then we'll add number two, and that should be enough for now. So if I click use fancy styling here, is it going to wipe out the state of the grudges? Because here, if you think about state living within a component, you might think, okay, well, for our right now, it's in is fancy is false because this is definitely not very fancy, fancily styled. It's also definitely not a word. Actually, I don't know if that's a word or not. But for this grudge list, if we toggle it to true and we are under this grudge list, is going to render a new list of grudges? Or is it going to reset the state here within our grudge list? Well, if we think about state living within a component, you might think that's true because it kind of looks like we're rendering two separate components here. But let's kind of see what happens. We have our two grudges. I toggle it on and off. And we don't see a change in state. And this kind of comes back to what I introed with. React will preserve a component state as long as it's being rendered at its position in the React tree, in your UI tree. But if we look at this, we can see, well, we're, we're rendering this in the same position in the DOM tree. We're rendering it as a sibling to this label component both times. We're not rendering any other kind of component or anything like that. We're rendering our grudgeless component in this same position. So regardless of whether we render this grudge list here or this grudge list here, we're not going to see a change in state. 
as you see here. Now, what if we get even crazier with this? What if we do something like, you know, if is fancy, if that is true, then what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire piece of racked tree here, so to speak. We are going to render it here, but instead of this ternary operator, we're just going to render is fancy as true effectively. We're just going to set that to a Boolean of true. And then I also need to do a return statement here and render this JSX within the return statement. So now we're, we're really making things look quite a bit different. And then in this case, we will just render our grudge list as is fancy with false. The key thing to remember here though is React will preserve a component state as long as it's being rendered in the same place in its UI tree. So in both these cases, we are still rendering the grudge list at the same place in the UI tree. All of this is the same. All of this is the same. We render our grudge list here. All of this is the same. All of this is the same. And we render our grudge list here as a sibling to this label component here. So in that case, if I'm, I'm going to refresh for good measure again, we'll just add one and then add two. And if I toggle this, you see that it, it maintains the state of those lists. And at first glance, it can, you might think that React is rendering a totally different grudge list right here because we're, we're doing like an early return of this HTML and then the same thing here. But since we're rendering this component at the same position in the UI tree, it is not going to wipe out state or reset the state of this grudge list. So component state doesn't necessarily like live within the component. It's more so like assigned to that component if it's, if it's at the same place in the React tree. Now, what would be an easy way to kind of change this? Well, say we did want to make sure the state was reset if we toggle back and forth between them. Well, we could just change its structure in the React tree a little bit here. And of course, there's other ways to do this. But now, if is fancy is false, let's render that component within a span here. So we're changing it, its structure in the React tree to where this one, we're just rendering it as a sibling to this label. But right here, we're actually rendering it as a child to a span that is a sibling to this label. So let's come back. I'm going to refresh for good measure again. Let's add one, add grudge, two, add grudge. And now when we toggle, you see that it clears the React state. Let's add one. We see it's the fancy styles, but now I toggle and it removes the state. And it does that simply because it's rendering those at two different locations in the React tree. So the common misconception here is that state just kind of lives within a component. And I think it's better to kind of think things about React is going to maintain or preserve a component state as long as it's being rendered in the same position in your overall UI tree as this this could be a little bit tricky to reason about if you weren't thinking about it in that way. So I hope this was clear. I hope this kind of, you know, click something for you. I definitely recommend reading that page more. I'm going to create some other videos that are kind of a similar topic to this because I do think this can get a little bit tricky, but it's definitely helpful to understand, especially in, in a larger application. So hope this helps you out and I'll see you in that next one.